Be prepared for offensive language throughout, sexual references and possible flashing images. Tonight! Dickheads. I oh, know. They're all a pack of assholes. Shaving foam all over the mirror. Oh, it's night before eviction. You know why. I saw the Blair Witch come, so I had to wipe it out. Oh, yeah, they're playing up to it in a massive level. Jimmy ain't stupid, dude. And they both know that it's part of the process. You dudes are 25, not 12. Oh, I can't cope with that sort of shit. Five fierce eviction. Bianca. Heidi and Spencer. Jedward. Jessica. And Kim. To leave tonight in a surprise double eviction. Who goes? You decide. single as she made out to be. That was a little bit awkward. Then there wasn't a dry eye in the house during the shopping task. Jamie bawled when his dad called. Oh. Woodburn wept. Nicholas sobbed. Colleen cried. And Bianca blubbed again. But did they give in? No, they did not. Because they are well tight. Except for when it comes to face-to-face -to -face noms. The housemates who were dealt a blow by the turn of a card were Bianca, Jedward, Jessica and Kim. They all joined tonight the eternally nominated Heidi and Spencer in our double eviction. And remember, you are voting to save. To save Bianca from a landline call. Oh, no, no, 2044, 2403. Or from a mobile for 644-2403. To save Heidi and Spencer from a landline call 090-2044-2407. Or from a mobile for 644-2407. To save Jedward from a landline call 090-2044-2412. Or from a mobile for 644-2412. To save Jessica from a landline call 090-2044-2417. Or from a mobile call 644-2417. To save Kim from a landline call 090-2044-2418. Or from a mobile call 644-2418. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in tonight's show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you watch on catch up or outside the UK. You can find terms on the Big Brother website now. If you are on Vodafone, there are there is some congestion on the network, so please try again if you can't get through immediately. Uh, right, let's get you up to speed with what happened yesterday. And my friends, the wait is over. It is time to find out what vegetable Kim thinks a bum resembles. Dear 24, 10.01 a.m. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. The housemates are waking up on what could be the last full day for either Spidey, Jedward... Boys. Man. Bianca, Jessica or Kim. 
who are all up for eviction and will face a public vote. Have you seen a difference in your bum? Well, could be better. My bum looks like ten pound of King Edwards. <laughs> Jamie and Bianca are talking about tomorrow's eviction. Be interesting to see what goes on tomorrow. Mm, same. Yeah. Could be alright. Mm -hmm. In the living area, John has an idea. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna sit behind getting Jamie down. I have a basic biology test with these. Yeah. I think that's what's holding them back. You should have it ready. John's ready for the sex ed class for Bianca and Jamie. Depends how I can do it. All in there. All in. All right. Nicola probably starts screaming. Hey, I'm Mr. Grimes. Down here to, um... Put on a bit of a display. What are you doing? Back to show and tell. All right. What are you doing? All right, so you take it. Put it there. Oh, my God! Yeah. Boom. Evan just looking at him like, we're so much important. Jamie, so you get it and you put it there. <laughs> uh, don't use them. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> you should use them. You gotta be safe. You're, le you're your leaving lesson. your lesson? I don't, definitely don't need a lesson in that, that's for sure. I don't know, I think you do. <laughs> We're just trying to move things on. Come on, you should be using them. Come on, in the future. Sex Ed 101. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. Thanks for the show and tell. No problem. I've learned a lot. I'm going to leave these here for you guys. <laughs> Where's Jay? Are you there? I know it went down as well as I thought. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't cope with that sort of it's shit. Just that kind of silly shit, isn't it? Just like, it does not... I do not find it funny. Like, that, oh, yeah. like, not one bit. And then he's saying to B, I'm leaving him there for oh, you. No. Like, she's not got enough shit going on. Yeah, exactly. Dickheads. I oh, know. One or nine p.m. Jessica is practicing Reiki on Callum. In the kitchen, Edward has a question for Kim. Kim. What do? I know you have a kitchen at home, but have you ever a kitchen table? Oh, no, not that big. Blimey, how big do you think my kitchen is? But, like, kitchen tables, have you ever, like, do you ever have fun on them? <sighs> well, I, well, I did a few years ago, didn't I? Oh. I think rubbing me bum round a kitchen table and doing a silhouette's a bit past me, dear. What kind <laughs> of fun did you have? Well, well, I, well, 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 I used to, when I was a kid, I used to do what you're doing now. You used to spin around? Sure I did. Great. But sat around now, they, 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 they take me to an asylum. I did that. No, but when you're young, you do you do these things, don't you? Yeah. Everyone has fun on kitchen tables. Oh, sure. You eat food. Yeah, you have fun good. when you get older, but it's a different type of fun, love. That's all. Great. Anyway, but some kitchen tables are a bit small, but this one has a lot of support. Oh, no, that's a goodie, isn't like it? It's not going to break. <laughs> like, well, oh. one never. <laughs> oh. Extra support. <laughs> Four thirty-three p.m. Jedward, GMC, and Heidi are completing this week's shopping list. Is organic better than the other stuff? Is it? Well, it's liable to be. Yeah. I just don't get this. the whole organic thing when we're eating bad we food. Have... I know, you're not able to get like sir, like steak mints. But if, if you're going to be organic, then it's like you have to eat everything organic. What's the point? In... No, because certain no, just, things are it, really organic. Yeah. Yeah. Be better. The shopping list is also the topic of conversation in the bedroom. So Guys, Jedward are doing it. I don't think Jedward should be doing it. Colleen, step in here. Go on, Colleen. No, I don't cook. I don't think I've got a right to say anything. Nick, there oh. she is. Oh, she was ready. Da, 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 ready. Nah. She was ready already. Get a pill. I'll get a pill ready for you after. And they were frozen before they went. Go on, get in there. Okay. It was his ref. What does that mean? All right. So I think oh. I think with some of the meat we need to get um, organic. Okay. Just Let's for the meat for would be okay. the best. I think. 
Well, right, definitely so the mints. I, there's four yeah, frozen mints. and then let's do... There's four frozen mints, did you say? Right now, there's four in the okay. freezer. Uh, chicken breasts, everyone loves them. Corn-fed chicken breasts. But the corn-fed's not as good as normal. It's like more shit in them. So, are the mints four or six? Six. <laughs> Callum has come to the diary room. Jedward continues, I suppose, to perform. They, like, do little things that normal 25-year-old men shouldn't do. Just little things like bringing in the banana and, like, putting the condom on it. And I'm just like, you dudes are 25, not fucking 12, you know? And it's hard sometimes talking to him. You know, if, if someone says, if one of them says something quite smart-ass to you, and, like, I'll, I'll speak back and be like, watch your mouth, and the other one speaks up. The other day I say, chance, by chance, did you take my laundry out with your laundry? And this Edward just got so... I didn't fucking take out your laundry. It's like, dude, it's just a normal question you have in day-to-day -day life. It's just little things that I'm just like, chill the fuck out, please. <laughs> Spencer and Jedward are in the snug. Spencer, can you make sure good stuff on our shopping list? Yeah, like stuff to actually... They're, right, they're in the bathroom right next yeah, to... Yeah, John was doing it and then... That bitch came out of nowhere. She wasn't doing it, now she's fucking doing it again. She's a boss. I don't know where the hell she came out of. She's getting corn-fed chicken. No, we're getting it for your age. No, no. she was like, corn-fed. I just uh, it's weird when you walk into the scene or people talk and they all just go mute when you're there. It's just like, wow, thanks for making me feel welcome. They're all a pack of assholes. I wish someone was like, hey, John, how are you doing today? Not one person does that. Or, it's like so weird. I just feel like this season there's people who have oh, it so easy. They should be nominated ages ago, and they're still here. Come on, Jedward, cheer up! I am a bit confused though about what they're more annoyed by: Nicola or corn-fed chicken. Um, how do you fancy yourself as a Big Brother housemate? <laughs> then please get in touch. We are looking for pairs for our summer series. So if you and someone you know want to stop watching the house and start living it, then go to bigbrotheraudition.com. Stay with us, because after the break, things get steamy for Bianca and Jamie. Plus, the housemates get their baps out for Big Brother. Not, not like that. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> Prepared for offensive language. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. Tonight, we have got a little surprise for our housemates. Double eviction. Lucky them. Bianca, Heidi and Spencer, Jedward, Jessica and Kim are all up. And like a Kim Woodburn mood swing, you never know which way it's going to go. Now, at the start of the show, there was less than 3% between the bottom three. So you know what you need to do. And remember, you are voting to save. From a landline, call 090 2044 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 644 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. To save Bianca, add 03. To save Heidi and Spencer, add 07. To save Jedward, add 12. To save Jessica, add 17. To save Kim, add 18. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in tonight's show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you watch on catch up or outside the UK. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. You've only got about 12 minutes before the lines close. Now, if you're on Vodafone, there is some congestion on the network, so please try again if you can't get through immediately. OK, let's head back to yesterday, and after loafing about all day, it's time the housemates were set another task by Big Brother. Well, it's the yeast we could do. It's a bread task. Roll with it. Five fifty-seven pm For today's task, housemates must rise to the occasion and take part in a quiz 
in Big Brother's Bakery. Housemates have been split into the red team and the blue team. Save my hair, man. Squeeze it in there. They must go head to head and answer a series of questions, the answer to which are written beneath a load of bread. First up is Callum for the red team. How fun. Versus Bianca for the blues. Yeah. Oh, look, we're looking at it. Nice. Uh. Which housemate doesn't like to drink water and believes it's only good for washing clothes? Who? Nicola. <laughs> Nicola, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm gutted. Oh. Callum, that is correct. Woo. Congratulations, Callum. You Thank are the you. winner of this round. Wow, this place looks cray cray. <laughs> Next, it's Edward and Nicola's turn to prove themselves. Let's do this, Nicola. Good luck. Good luck. My heart's racing. Which housemate referred to some of their housemates as chinless wonders? OK. Do you know this? I don't know, but Colleen is very posh. Is it Colleen Nolan from the Nolan Sisters? That is incorrect. Oh. Housemates, your search can continue. Ah! Fuck! I got it! I got it! Come on, Edward. Teamwork. Oh, sorry, sorry. Things. sorry. Don't say sorry, just don't do it. She gets oh, so angry, doesn't right. she? Oh, is it Kim? Oh. Damn. Obviously, she's like, Posh. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Nicola. You are the winner of this round. I'm so I beat your ass! Yeah! Well done. Next up to use their loaf is Jimmy for the red team and Kim for the blues. Who has brought 74 jackets into the house with them? Ah! Did one? <laughs> Jedward. No! That is correct. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I went, you know, I went over here and I picked the first loaf up. Well done. Jessica and Colleen. Which housemate has Game Changer tattooed on his stomach? Got to be Callum. Come on! <laughs> oh, you arse. Wow. She is going Good for Jess it. Good and super smart and sweet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, my God, I'm absolutely sweating my breasts off. Look at Colleen under there. <laughs> Big Brother thinks you should think long and hard. I can't find any long and hard. She's unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen! Oh! oh. Cheers, cheers. It is that. Colleen! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That is Woo. correct. What a search. Well deserved, well deserved. Oh, well done, Kevin. Oh. Last to get a slice of the action are John and Heidi. What golden fruit ornament can be found in no, the living by area? The table, by the table! <laughs> oh, oh, by the big... No. Banana! Golden oh. banana! Oh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That is correct. yep a doop a -doo. uh, Perfect! All right, good job. Congratulations, John. You are the winner. <laughs> Young man, well Ooh. done. He just went straight to it, bum. This is Big Brother. Congratulations, Team Blue. Just like, Big Brother thinks the Blue Team are the best thing since sliced bread. Yay! Blue Team, you will receive your treat in due course. Nine forty-one p.m. Some of the housemates are discussing tomorrow's eviction. I'll be gutted if I go tomorrow. I'll be gutted. Don't be. No, I don't. She won't go because I get to the kids, but at the same time, oh, I will be a little bit gutted. Okay. I'd be thrilled. Edward is getting naughty in the bathroom. <sighs> wow. Wow. Jed! Jedward. Too cute. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Might as well get my forehead next time. Fuck's sake. Do I have uh, red lipstick on my nose now? So left. Look at you you push me away like you're in some kind of control here. <laughs> no, no, it's just gonna get dead bashful. Fuck's sake, I'll get dead bashful. Go on then, don't be shy. Come in. No, you're not right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boys, do you want, um... Oh, I'm shit! I'm just cleaning the window, you know. <laughs> do you want, um, shepherd's pie? No, I'm good. I'll have it later. Yeah? Yeah. Shaving foam all over the mirror. Why? Oh, it's night before eviction. You know why. What is it? It was amazing, but then what? I saw... What's it from? I saw the Blair Witch come, so I had to wipe it out. And Perfect. Boom. It's all good in the hood. What are you going to get off? I don't know. Shave it off. Hold on a sec. I'm going to help you. We might ruin this. Let's get it off. Jedward are currently cleaning the mirror with shaving Ooh, foam. <laughs> the whole mirror. You should never tell anyone about this. Yes, not she gossip would. her. Yeah, she, she never gossip her. She never would do this. Just go back and play stupid. We're yeah. so good at cleaning. Yeah, what a good job. Eleven fifty-four p.m. Kim and GMC are having a quiet moment. In the living area, Big Brother is playing in some of the winning team's favourite songs. Let me take you to a place of nice and quiet. Yeah, yeah you know what I want to do. I just wanna take it nice and slow. I've been waiting for this for so long. Make a love until the sun comes. What could we need to top this? What the fuck could we need to top this? Oh, Well, 42 a.m. Nicola is having a word with Bianca. Slow down. You're drunk. And I don't want you to do any... OK. Yep. Just, do you understand that I'm saying that to you? Because I love you. We are a big brother. In real life, you know I fucking love it. I'll go to the way and I'll go to bed. No, you don't have to go to bed. No, because I can't. If I sit out there, I'll be, get carried away. OK. Because that's what I do. Okay. Well, it's up to you. If you feel happy and comfortable, you do. I, yeah, I do. You've asked. Well, then do. I'm just looking out for you, okay? And I love you. Mm. You know I do. Okay? Yeah, I know. And chill the fuck out. Yeah. But just. Yeah. 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 Yes. We like so, this. Just. Yeah. Colleen is alone in the garden. <laughs> I'm in the <laughs> dancing, <laughs> romancing. <laughs> oh, what is that? Where are you two going? The snog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> We keep it respectable. I love game, it. Can't wait to get you out there. Callum and Nicola are talking about Bianca and Jimmy. And all due respect, I'm just like this. Nobody Come on now. But the funny thing is, I know that it's a storyline. This is not a storyline. But then I think they know that as well. Do you? 
tell you they're playing up to it in tenfold. Do not. Yeah, I mean, I'm fucking Oh, yeah, they're playing up to it in a massive level. Jimmy ain't stupid, dude. Really? Yeah. Now this beat. They both, really? they both know that it's part of the process. Oh, fuck. Well, I wouldn't have thought that, but then I'm fucking stupid at shit like this, because I what don't... You, what would you not have thought? I wouldn't... I, I just called her in there and said, babe, really? Like, enough. Stop. I'll just go straight to bed then. I said, I'm not saying that. I'm not being a dick. I'm saying to you, like, do you really want to be climbing all over him? I was like... I want to pull the professional card and be like... You know, when you look back at it, you go, damn, I wish I knew a bit more about... Well, I tried to say that. Yeah. I was like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's all right to be. There's very sweet elements, but at the same time, you're like... Mm -hmm. Well, look, tonight it's got to a level of, like, enough. It's, it's got to a level of me going to stop now. Yeah. She said she loves me. Love 2.19 a.m. Jedward have decided to do some late-night washing up. All right, let's do this. In the bedroom, Jamie and Bianca are saying good night. then you need to stop because the vote has now closed. Please do not call as your vote won't count. The results are in right after the break. Be prepared for offensive language. to Celebrity Big Brother. Just like Jamie finding out about Bianca's secret boyfriend, the housemates are in for a big surprise tonight. <laughs> because as we know, it's a double eviction. But who is going first? Bianca, Heidi and Spencer, Jedward, Jessica or Kim? The results are in.
Jedwards. And Bianca. Yes. Jedward and Bianca, you are both safe. Well done. Well done. Heidi and Spencer. Jessica. Kim. I can now reveal the celebrity housemate with the fewest votes and seventh to be evicted is... Jessica. Big Brother House, please say your goodbyes. Bloody hell, my universe is a fucking shit! Thank you. No, don't worry. Jessica! Woo, I'm taking the lipstick! Jessica, you have been evicted. Please leave the celebrity Big Brother House. Jessica has been fired by you. Find out what she thinks of the former housemates after the break. For offensive language. Shock, I've been putting it out to the universe to win it, so I'm a bit like... Haven't happened? we been seeing her? Sit the other day, you're in the garden going, yeah, 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 yeah! Yes! Like, honestly... Living the moment that you win Big Brother. Yeah, it obviously didn't work. I'm gutted. Um, but yeah. I'm happy to be out in. The like, power of the universe was not on your side No, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, you picked the Joker as well this week yeah. in nominations. Yeah. Were you, were you relieved that you didn't have to... Yeah. Nominate anybody, or were you a little? Well, now I'd imagine you're a bit gutted. Um, no, to be fair, I think like it's awkward because I genuinely oh, can't talk now. Um, I genuinely like everyone in the house, and I think it's you don't want to nominate anyone anyway because then you feel yeah. you just, it's not a nice feeling. So when I got the joke, I was almost happy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who I would have chosen though. Um, Colleen as well. She seemed to find it quite difficult to, yeah. to nominate you. Yeah. Um, you it, it, were you surprised by it? No, that think, she picked you. No, no. I mean, Colleen's lovely, um, but I think she obviously she she's known Callum and Nicola for longer. And yeah. I think she would have felt worse choosing Nicola or Callum, but yeah. you've got to do it, and I understand. Yeah. And what about um, the reason that she gave that she felt like she didn't really know you? Um, well, did you did, w w was it the same for you? Did you feel like you hadn't really got to know her? No, I think we'd got to know each other, but obviously she spent ten extra days yeah. like with Callum and Nicola and when you're there it's so intense. Like literally yeah. the full day seems like it's a week. So I completely understood her reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go back to the beginning because obviously you came in what a week and a half later than everybody else, yeah. which 
when you say it like that, it doesn't really sound like very much. Yeah. But but like you say, a small amount of time seems like a year in yeah. there. So what was it like walking into that room? Oh, terrifying. Like, I literally felt like I'd walked into the, the celebrity Big Brother set. Um, you had. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> but I'd been watching everyone on TV, and then when you walk in it, like, I'm seeing all these people I've been watching. Uh, first of all, I don't, like, think I should have been in there because I'm not a bloody proper celebrity. So I walked, I was like, dear Lord, I've blagged this one, aren't I? <laughs> um, but, Did yeah. you feel like they were welcoming to you? Um, yeah, I felt like everyone was quite friendly. And yeah. then, obviously, half of them stayed and now half went upstairs. Um, and, yeah, I think, like, we like, just... Had a yeah. sort of some bubbly, and then yeah, it was fine. Like you said, you know, you don't feel like you're a celebrity, yeah. and you're, you're so you're and you're relatively new, new to yeah. the kind of whole reality yeah. and, and celebrity world. So, in that case, did you feel like a lot of these people have done this a lot? Do you know what I mean? And they know what they're doing, and they know how to play it, and they know how to perform. Did you feel um, like you kind of had to step up to that sort of level and give it your all? Or did you just go in there and, and try and be yourself no, and take it on face value? Yeah, well, like, the thing is, when, like, in there, I don't think that any of them are playing a game in. So when I was in you there, don't? No, like, when I'm in there, like, when I've watched it, I'm like, definite, definite. But then when you're in there, yeah. like, I don't know, no, I don't, I don't know, I didn't oh, feel that we've got to get there. on to that, haven't we? Because yeah. <laughs> we're all like, like, they're playing a game, they're no, playing a game. We do, when you watch it, it's such a different perspective to when you're in it. And when I was in it, I was like, oh, no, like, I can't, I don't know, like, I, I I don't know who would be playing the game, do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so when I went in there, literally, like, I went in just as myself yeah. and obviously it wasn't bloody enough, was it? Because I'm here. <laughs> but, um... Maybe you're just quite normal and nice. <laughs> <Maybe that's... laughs> that's why you're out. Uh, let's talk about Kim. Yeah. Uh, she has certainly made her mark on that house. Yeah. <laughs> um, you became firm friends, but it wasn't always that way, was it, in the beginning? Let's yeah. take a look at the two of you. God, sorry for the swearing, Dad. <laughs> I think you're rude, arrogant and mean. And I think you're a little bitch, actually. Okay, Kim, I think that's enough. Shut yeah. up! I'm just really sorry for her. Kim has other shit going on. She sided with Kim because she thinks she'll be seen to be the nice girl. I'm taking you to the Ivy, and now you and I are a nush up. Thank you. Kim is hilarious. I might flash my knockers. <gasps> Jess, she's actually bonded with Kim. She's a lovely girl, full of beans. I like it very much. Yeah, cheeky bugger. You know, I love you, I think you're great. Would you like to make a cup of tea for the old culture? Of course, can I I thoroughly enjoy meeting you, you know. I'm enjoying meeting you. So, she yeah. came into the house, yeah. all guns blazing, yeah. was going for anybody that wanted to have a bit of a ruckus, and then, in the words of Colleen and Nicola, she yeah. has turned into Snow White. <laughs> so, so, what is the deal with Kim? What has she been like to live with? I think she's all right. Like, she... Like, I think when she went in there, I think she went in with, like, maybe a different persona. Um, but then, actually, like, she's actually really nice and she's, actually, she's dead funny and, like, you just feel really sorry because, obviously, none of the housemates gel with her. Yeah. And... Oh, I just felt really bad for her now. What, what do you think the other housemates aren't seeing, then, that you did? I just don't think they... Because, obviously, she came with all guns blazing and, obviously, she caused a bit of a stir and a bit of animosity, if you will, and then none of them have really taken to her or taken the time just to sit down and have a half an hour, 40 mm. minute conversation with her. Yeah. Whereas if you do, she's actually really funny and, like, she's got nice stories and I just feel, she, I feel sorry because she's isolated herself from it, so, and I think she's struggling now. Um, well, I think she'll struggle, especially now that you're out. I mean, she's got Jedward. She yeah. loves Jedward as well, doesn't yeah, she? Jedward's, yeah, Jedward are wicked. I don't know they get booed. <laughs> <laughs> the wicked, I love it. Um, lots of the housemates are thinking, though, that this is part of her game plan, that the kind of rouse and the explosiveness that she can I she think, can bring. I think possibly at the start, yeah. Um, but now, I just think I just think she just wants someone to talk to. Like, when you're in there, and it's... Honestly, if you don't have anyone to talk to and you don't yeah. have to occupy yourself, the days are so long, so you need people to talk to, you need something to do. And obviously, like, me and Jedward are the only real people who, like, actually talk to her. Yeah. But, um, oh, don't you really? Did you find it difficult to settle? And did you feel like people accepted you quite easily? Well, I did, but then everyone was like, man, I thought you came in here, that was just crazy, playing this guy's like, you're joking. Um, but, yeah, I think, like, I just kind of just got on with it. Mm. I think I did. <laughs> Well, when you entered the house, it was it was quite bizarre actually, because Callum became the 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 fascination of yours yeah. and Chloe's. <laughs> it was just like oh God, don't oh. cringe already, Emma. So um, <sighs> so it's day one. Yeah. You're in the Big Brother house, yeah. and Chloe is arguing with you about Callum, who you've both known for less than 24 hours. Yeah, it was, it was like a school ground. Oh, I'm going to be more. I can't even watch this clip. <laughs> I haven't got a clip. I was oh, just thank God, that. <laughs> <laughs> thank God for that. <laughs> What, what, how come it, how, I asked Chloe the same question, but how come it became yeah. such 
such an issue. Well, no, it wasn't an issue, right? It's the basic. We bought well, it in there. It sounded like one. I know. I was bloody mortified. I was like, oh my God. I'm more mortified for the fact that like, it kicked off. I'm thinking, dear Lord, we've only been in here a day. This is completely cringeworthy. He's nothing but completely loopy. Um, but yeah, like, like that. Yeah, the fight with me already. Oh, yeah, you like this. <laughs> but honestly, right, like, Callum's not my type at all. And then when you actually meet him and you talk to him, he's actually got a lot of depth behind him. Yeah. He's really interesting. And he's, he's very, very charming as well. Very charming, yeah. very charismatic. Um, but then Chloe was saying, oh, I really fancy him. I'm thinking, oh, I fancy him too. Um, so I was like, oh. Did so you hope something would happen? Um, not when I first went in there. But then, obviously, when the more you get to know him, yeah. um, and because he is, he had, like, you will obviously meet him. So he has just got something just charming about him and I don't know not like not in the big brother house I want of anything like that to happen um, could, could, could he become your number four maybe <laughs> who knows three on the go yeah I'm single oh my, oh my god Emma. you must have some energy no oh no no <laughs> just see them all the time but no, um, just can we talk about James C yeah uh, I think we're all quite fascinated by him he's you know this kind of kind of big bold man but yeah. very calm and yeah. how how do you think he's getting on in there he's just again like when you chat oh, can't talk when you chat um to, to james he's he's really interesting is it nice to have somebody like that in there yeah because obviously you've got something to actually talk about and it's not just normal chit chat you can actually yeah. have a full lengthy conversation where you feel like your brain's been educated yeah. um so yeah he's nice and colleen as well colleen's the yeah. same you can literally sit and chat in yeah like you can have a little bit of normality yeah well listen you can have loads of normality now because you are out yeah. here are your best <laughs> it's jessica cunningham hey! welcome anyway you must have shit yourself a little bit it's a bit full on she's just excited to be here <laughs> All dancing, all singing, all showy. Yeah. Tell Jess is a hustler. Tell she's a businesswoman. Definitely cute. She's in here to win. You are the winner. Ah! Definitely hot. It's just her personality that annoys me. I think you're a little bitch, actually. Okay, Kim, I think that's enough. Shut up! No, you're being really out of Shut water. up! Kim has other shit going on. She sided with Kim. I seen right through that. You have not got a clue. No one has ever got a clue. I've been doing it. You don't know. Do not know. speak to me. She's here to win. Yeah, Jess is here to win. I feel awkward around her. She makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, and I feel like she's here to win. She I am here to win. Jessica, she's a lovely girl, hard worker, full of beans. I can't knock that, my love. I much admire her. <laughs> She just makes me laugh all day long. I think she's actually really sweet. Jess, you're a legend, OK? You are a freaking awesome person. My time in the Big Brother house has been magical, an adventure, special, and it's been bloody hilarious. second part of our double eviction showdown. So, will our master game players be forced to concede defeat or will our queen of clean bite the dust? I'll also be giving you exclusive news about a little thing called the final judgment. More on that in 30 minutes. Uh, stay with Channel 5 because right now it's lip sync battle. Listen to this. With Peter Andre as Missy Elliott versus Gino DeCampo as none other than Peter Andre. <laughs> TV Gold, we will see you at 10.30. Bye-bye. Is that over? Let's go back. back. In three, two... There's screaming going on. That's outside on oh, outside. Okay. The same thing they're doing here, that's outside. Oh, I'm going to leave the couch and see what they say then. Go on then. Yes, yes. It's been emotional. Thank you, everybody. I think it is over. It's done. What time is it? Why don't you just say it's over? 55. So just doing hour shows now? Yep. One to go, and then we're going to have to line up against that wall and go in the other room and do some funny shit. Let's do it. Cigarette, big bro. Well done, everybody that stayed. Yeah, well done, guys. Come on, get the tea on. 
Because my last cookie is sweet too. Chill out, Bye. some sugar, milk. Chill out. <laughs> 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 Smoke with you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>